Hello everyone, my name is Trends, and welcome to my channel. To those who are new, welcome to my channel, and to those who have been here before, welcome back. Yeah. I am now doing my initial look through. for the month of November. And my theme for this month just happens to be vintage clocks. Time sure flew by fast this year, and now we are on to November 2021. It seems like yesterday that we did start with January. And now we are to, at the second to the left of the of the. Now a tip for those who are not good at drawing freehand: always outline your set with pencil first. That's how I did my setup for this month and all the other previous months. And now, on to my first page, which is my cover page slash mood tracker page for this month. I am outlining all my drawings with my Sakura ping on my front pen. And this time to track my moods, I am using various shapes and sizes and types of R glasses. And as I am drawing out this R glasses, I would like to say that I finished reading the book. You see Royale. The first in the James Bond series by Ian Fleming. And I am currently reading the second book, which is Live and Let Die. I, at least I think that's the title. So what books are you reading this month? Are you following a series? Or reading standalone books? Leave the title of this book and the authors in the comments down below. What is your theme for this month?
you can see, I am drawing three last days of the month of October. Wait, November. The blue is some trapping for this month. It's pink for happy. Yellow for anxious. Orange for excited. Peach for relaxed. And there's sad and angry. One of them is blue, and one of them is green. And now for the pens that I am using for this whole setup. It's the curved Pigma Micron pen for the outlining. The Uni pin pen for the details of the drawings. Three brown metallic markers, one brown Crayola washable pen, one brown, one black paper me pen, and one hard tip Daiso. Calligraphy pen. As you can see, I am drawing in the fine details of the art glasses. And also for this month, I am doing a full calligraphy for each title.
up for me. I am a student playing online. And now on to the quote page. The quote for this month is, it's not about having time, it's about making time. And I drew a vintage clock face as the decoration. And this is the first time I've drawn a very big vintage pop face, mind you. And this quote is very fitting because I used to think I did not have time to chat with my aunt who's in America. I didn't have time spend with my parents, didn't have time to exercise, did not have time to get back into my love for reading of books. But because I started bullet journaling, I now have time because I am making time for these things. I make time in my schedule, which is placed in my bullet journal, to chat with my aunt, to spend time with my parents, like going to the mall with them, or just spontaneously going to the mountains to buy fruits and vegetables, or to spend time doing karaoke at home via YouTube. To exercise at least 10, 15, or 20 minutes in one day, or twice a day. To actually drink Heaven rushes of water is a day. To have time in a day to read the same five chapters of a book. That's how I got to reading. Finished reading the first James Bond book and then to reading the second book. Time in specific ways to greet relatives and friends a happy birthday. And speaking of birthdays, I always remember before the day arrives and after the day arrives, but never on the day. But now that I have place to write, to remind me, I actually reached the bottom of the day of the and now I am using the Shakura Tigma Micron brush pen for the black color, and there's the Crayola 
flour in the washer, and then some water has been found metallic. Another metallic mix. Well, you know, I use the brown color for the gears. And yes, the numbers of the phosphates are in Roman numerals. I'm coloring in the last few. And that's all for the current page and full page. And now on to the two page calendar spread. Obviously there's the main calendar. And to its right, instead of being the pool space, I have a doodle or a drawing of a grandfather clock. And now for this page, I am outlining my clock drawing. One of them is at the bottom left corner of the left page. I think it's a table clock. A vintage table clock. And then on to the grandfather clock. And now some of the important dates of November. November 1, all named May. 
November 2, All Souls Day, and also my friend's birthday. November 28, my cousin's birthday. And all the other things written in there, there's my classes schedule. And it's written in the code so you don't know what my classes actually are. I am writing in the word November in my full calligraphy again. Under the calendar, right beside the vintage clock, is where I placed my gold. And one of them is to not eat rice for lunch and dinner for a whole week. I wonder how it will go. And right beside it, to the right page, is a space for notes. And under the grandfather clock is where I track my Instagram. So what about you? What are the important days in November? If you would like if you would like to share your important days, please leave them in the comment down below. And how are you liking this theme so far? And do you have any comments or suggestions to improve my videos? And now I'm coloring in my drawings using the Pigma Micron brush pen. I skipped right through the coloring part to charge the time. And now on to the habit tracker. Which is exactly the same habits that I tracked last month. But to tie into the theme, I am now doing the outline of a pocket watch. So for those who don't know what I'm tracking, it's study. No way. No, 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 no. That, that was not in order.
Oh, I'm writing in the number. Not just the date of the whole month, but also the numbers on the clock face. By the way, they, oh, there are three days in November. And now I'm writing the initials for the days M, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, for Thursday, F for Friday, S for Saturday, and another S for Sunday. And then I am writing in my full calligraphy the title for this page, which just happens to be Habit Tracker. So what kind of Habit Tracker layout do you use? Do you even track your habits? Oh my god, if I didn't want such serious quotes, I could have used I morph in time from Power Rangers. And now to the habits that I'm actually tracking, which is study, exercise, hydrate, vitamins, Read, pray, shower, skincare, and sleep. And now I'm coloring in using one brown metallic marker, the pocket watch.
and now on to the online a day page which is my gratitude page which is where I write the things I'm grateful for such as spending time with family watching movies reading a book finish reading a book I am outlining the clock in my Sakura Pigma Micron pen. And in order to shorten the time for this video, I've already colored in alternating lines with coffee. And I am now writing out in my full calligraphy the title, which is a line a day. And I seem to have lots of footage in me writing out the day and days of the month of November. And I think. After I finish doing all the spreads, I actually added a quote underneath the Align a Day title, which is, The way we spend our time defines who we are, by Jonathan Eastern. So you could have seen it in my initial slip through. And you can see it again in my final tour. So, do you have a gratitude log? Do you have a place where you write out what you're grateful for each day? Or do you do doodles of that? Mm -hmm. And now I'm coloring in the clock using the brown Crayola washable markers and I'd probably also use one of the metallic brown markers.
I'm actually using the dark brown metallic marker. Interesting. That's it for the habit tracker and a line of day pages. And now on to a page that is greatly inspired by its original maker, the Boosted Journal. If you want to learn more about this video or this particular spread, please watch this video. My productivity level happens to be a Zosh door layout. And to tie in to the theme, on the top left corner of the left page is an hourglass. To the top right corner of the right page is a cuckoo clock. And on the Dutch door itself. It's the keys to my productivity level for. But the keys and the icons are customizable to your own preference. Some people who use this like this spread once they reach out or max out all levels, they give themselves a treat. For me, the treat is actually finishing all the levels. Now here's a little trivia for Roman Catholics around the world. November 28th, which is also my cousin's birthday, is the first Sunday of Advent and the last day of Advent on the 24th of December. As you can see, I said the last day not last Sunday. So, Advent is the period leading up to Christmas. It starts on the Sunday near to the 30th of December, which happens to be the 20th for this year, and ends on Sunday for the 25th. The word Advent means coming. It is the time of preparation before the birth of Jesus. You get it? Time. So for those people who do not use the productivity level board, how do you track your productivity? What type of spreads do you use? And are there any holidays that you celebrate in November? Please leave the answers to these questions in the comments below. And now I'm doing the outline of the hourglass with my Pigma Micron pen.
And on the other side, I'm doing the outline of the cuckoo clock. Fun fact, my uncle used to have a cuckoo clock. We have no idea what happened to it, so... As you can see, I am writing out the, the categories. For my productivity level board. As you can see on one side of the Dutch shore spread, it's school and social. The other side, which I will be showing you later, will be personal. And now I am writing in the title, which is Productivity Level Board in full calligraphy. And now I'm coloring in your hourglass using the Sakura Pigma Micron brush pen. And now I'm using the Crayola washable pens in the brown color.
And now I'm coloring in the glue glue cloth with the brown metallic pen. And now on to my highlight of the birth spread, which is a two-page spread. And you guessed it, there are more vintage clocks. And on the top right, no wait, on the top left corner, you have a vintage wall clock, which I think can be seen at station. Yes. The funny thing about that, I just remembered my uncle bought a box and put it in his own home. And I just remembered why I wanted to do a vintage clock theme in the first place. I mean, I remembered wanting to do a vintage clock theme, but for the life of me, I forgot the reason until I watched the video while doing the voiceover. And I am now doing the full calligraphy Highlights of the month title page or title for the page or the spread. Oh, what? This is the second theme idea that I got from something that my uncle has. The first team idea that was, that was inspired by something that my uncle owns was my January spread, the light bulb. Because on my uncle's porch, there's a lot of light bulbs or a fairy light, light bulb. You know what I mean. And now I am coloring in using the metallic brown markers the vintage table clock which I f which the drawing I found through Google search So what about you? Your memories of this month? Or do you write it down? Do you use pictures? Do you use doodles? Do 
Leave your answers in the comments below. That's it for the highlights of November, and now on to the weekly pages. As you can see, I've already outlined the drawings. And I am now inking in the total ideas or tasks. And right above that, a smaller vintage clock face. And it's back again to the weekly pages that are Dutch stores. This time, I put some tabs. And speaking of tabs, for the whole monthly layout, I have tabs. Tabs for the calendar page. For the habits, habit tracker and Alana Day page, for the productivity level board, for the highlights, and for the weeklies. And now I am inking in the title note. And if you actually notice it through my initial flip through, I actually did alternating colors for every alternate line for the tasks and ideas and the notes. And now I'm writing in the date, end dates of the week. I'm only doing the first week because we're already done the rest of the week will be shown in a mini flip through. And now I am writing in the quote, the two most powerful warriors are patience and time by Leo Tolstoy, War and Peace. Now coloring in the vintage clock face. And also to tie into the theme of the lower right corner of the last weekly page is a drawing of an hourglass.
one of those fancy R glasses, if you ask me. I'm actually using a Pigma Micron brush pen. How oh, intriguing. Fun fact, I actually ordered that for my <laughs> sober setup, but it arrived late. So. I'm using it for the November instead. <laughs> Here it is. My mini flip through for the weeks. And now on to the daily pages. As you can see, there are four daily. So each page is divided into half clockwise. So there are two days on each page. And on each daily spread I write in the month or the abbreviation for the month which is called in that full calligraphy the day of the month like the numbers and also TTH which is Thursday F, which is Friday. And then Python. Now, for each daily section, we have the water tracker page, which is mostly how I track how many glasses of water my goal is to drink at least seven glasses of water each day to keep myself hydrated and then I divide the daily section it becomes one fourth. Never mind the counting of but I am to do my to do's and priorities. And that's exactly the same for each day of the How about you? Do you do dailies or do you just end with the weeklies? Or you don't do weeklies and you do dailies? For me, I like the repetition. It, re it helps me remember what I'm doing that day. Plus, I can add in daily prayers. So 
about you? How do you mark and differentiate between your spreads? And now on to my month in review spread. Where I ask myself five questions. Like, how do I rate this month? What are the things that I actually did this month? What is the most memorable day of the month? What is something that I think I will remember for the rest of my life? I think that's one of the questions. And what would I do differently? How about you? Do you do a monthly review, a quarterly review, a daily review, or a yearly review? And here's the quote that I wanted to use but didn't have any space for. Or maybe I do have space for it. Time has a wonderful way of showing us what really matters. I really, really like this quote and I hope I find a space for it somewhere in my journal. I might use it as a beginning of the year quote at some point in the future. And now on to the final flip through. That's all for this video. If you actually liked my video, please click the like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, there are. You can watch this other video in the card or somewhere floating above the screen and see you in the next video bye and yes i would like to thank my subscribers and watchers for watching this video. Once again, don't forget to click the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And see you in my next video, which is either my December 2021 bullet journal setup or it could be my 2022 beginning of the year bullet journal setup
like I said, don't forget to click the like button, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. And see you in the next video. Bye!